Okay, so in this example, we have to solve the three by three system of equations. So again, we have three equations and three variables in which we must solve for. So before trying this video, make sure you know how to solve a two by two system of equations. Okay, before moving on to this particular example. All right, so let's get right into it. So when we're solving a three by three system of equations, our goal is to bring it down to a two by two system of equations. So what I'm gonna do is label all of my equations, so let's call it equation one, two, and three. And we wanna look for possible eliminations that we can make. So if I'm looking at that variable C, when I look at equation two and three, if I use addition when I eliminate, the Z's will cancel, and then I'll just be left with X and Y. So that's gonna be my first move. I'm gonna use equation two and three, and I'm going to eliminate Z. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite equation 2. So I get 4x plus 4y minus 2z equal to negative 10. And then just rewriting this, so we get 4x minus y plus 2z equal to negative 18. Okay? Now, it's important to understand that when you go to use elimination at this point right here, you can use either addition or subtraction. So you want to use the one that's going to work in your favor. So in my case here, I want to use addition because if I do negative 2z plus 2z, that will cancel out, right? Whereas if I were to use subtraction, negative 2z minus a 2z will give me negative 4z, right? You just have to stay consistent though. So if you choose to use addition, you have to use addition throughout this entire problem here. Same thing with subtraction. If you use subtraction, you have to use subtraction throughout this entire problem. So again, I'm going to use addition, so I need to make sure that I add all my terms. So I'm going to do 4x plus 4x, that gives me 8x. So then I get 4y plus a negative y, that gives me plus 3y. Again, this will cancel. And then let's get negative 10 plus a negative 18, that's going to give me negative 28. Okay? So there's our first equation, right? We now need to do this with another two of our original equations so that we can bring it down to a two by two. So again, I eliminated Z, so that means when I use my other two original equations, I wanna make sure that I eliminate Z as well. So you can pick any of these equations that you want. You could pick one and three, you could pick one and two, just don't pick two and three again, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna pick one and two. So I'm gonna pick one and two, okay? And if I look at this, right, all I have to do is multiply equation two by two, because then I'll get negative four z here, and I have a negative four z here. And if I use subtraction, that will cancel out the z's, right? A negative four z minus a negative four z will cancel out, it's zero, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So my first equation can stay the same, so it's negative three x plus six y minus four z equal to 27. And then we said we're going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So 2 times 4x, we get 8x, and then 2 times 4y plus 8y, and we get 2 times a negative 2z, we get negative 4z, okay? And then 2 times a negative 10, we're going to get negative 20. So let's go ahead and do this now. We determined that in this particular case, we're going to use subtraction, not addition. So that's fine, just make sure you stay consistent and you subtract all your terms, right? So using subtraction here, negative three X minus eight X, that's gonna give us negative 11 X. Then I get six Y minus eight Y, that's gonna give me negative two Y. This will cancel, that's what we want. And then we get 27, minus a negative 20, right? So again, that's actually gonna give us a positive number, right? We're actually gonna get there positive 47. So again, 27 minus a negative 20, that gives us positive 47. Now we have it down to a two by two, right? That's what we want. And we can go ahead and use elimination one more time so that we can eliminate one more variable and then solve, right? So essentially, you're just gonna do what you would do in solving a two by two system of equations from here. So looking at both of my 
equations here. I'm going to go ahead and just multiply this equation by 2 and this one by 3. That way, the y's will cancel out. Here I'll get 6y, right? Here I'll get negative 6y, so if I add, the y's will cancel. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 2. So I'm going to get 16x, okay? Here I get plus 6y. Right, and then just multiplying by 2 here, I get negative 56. Okay, so negative 56. Here we need to multiply everything by 3, so I get negative 33x. Here I get negative 6y. And here I'm going to get 141. Okay, so we determined that we want to use addition here. That way our y's will cancel out. So what I'm going to do is just do this problem right here. So we're going to do 16x plus a negative 33x, and that's going to give us negative 17x. Okay. Again, the y's cancel. That's what we want. And then we're going to do negative 56 plus 141, and that's going to give us 85. 85. Now our last step is just to divide both sides by negative 17. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 17. Okay, so just plugging this into my calculator, 85 divided by negative 17, I get my x value, which is going to be negative 5. So we want to go ahead and record that. x equals negative 5. So we'll do that right here. x is equal to negative 5. All right, so you just did the hardest part. Now all you have to do is go in reverse, right? So the hard part is over. Now let's go back to our two by two system of equations. We're gonna plug in x and solve for y. So you can pick any one that you want. I'll just pick this one right here, right? So we can kind of just do this out right here. We'll just erase our work. So we know that eight times a negative five, right? Just plugging in, we get negative 40 plus three y equal to negative 28. We're going to add 40 on both sides and we're going to get 3y equals 12. And then of course, just divide both sides by 3 and you get y equals 4. So y is equal to 4. All right. Now we go back to our original, right, three equations that we had. We're going to plug in x and y and solve for z. So pick any one that you want. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just erase this and this so we have room to do this. And I'll just go ahead and I'll pick equation two. All right, so let's just go ahead and plug that in. So we get four times a negative five, right? Plus four times four, okay? Minus two Z equal to negative 10. So let's go ahead and just simplify this down. So here we get negative 20, okay? Plus 16 minus two Z equal to negative 10, right? And we know that negative 20 plus 16 is gonna give us negative four. So we get negative four minus two Z equal to negative 10. Now we wanna add four on both sides. By doing that, we get negative two Z is gonna give us negative six, right? So we get negative two Z equal to negative six. And then just divide both sides by negative two and we're gonna get our final answer here. Right, so we know that z is going to be equal to 3. Okay, and there it is. You can go ahead and just box this in. Again, you could also write it as a point, x, y, z. So if you were to do that, you would write it like this, negative 5, comma 4, comma 3. Right, so you could also write your final solution like this, right, and that's fine. Okay, so that is solving a 3 by 3 system of equations, and that is it.